Deliver this to Alejandro de la Vega. Pronto. Who is it from? Oh, here. This came with me. It's a present from the King of Spain, Father. I wonder what it could be. Well, don't just stand there. Open it up. Si, senor. of the king. Not a bad likeness, either. Did you know him, Don Alejandro? Well, let's just say I did a small favor for him a long time ago. Something happened to my father? you enjoy the sting of cold steel, I suggest you release your captive immediately. Since when does the local police run around wearing masks? I'm not with the police. Perhaps you've heard of me? I am Zorro. Zorro? <laughs> Zorro? I'm afraid I'm not familiar with the name. But no matter. 
You won't be around long enough for me to be concerned with you again. Are you concerned yet, senor? Continue this later. Toronado! Yeah! Look! It's Zorro! Vamanos! Get him! Stop him! Stop him! Lost the kidnapper, Toronado, and my father. My father's gone, and I haven't a clue as to who it was who kidnapped him, or why. Don't worry, Diego. We'll figure something out. Excuse me, is this La Casa de Vega? Yes? I have a message for Don Diego. Who gave you this? Uh, a strange-looking hombre with a leather face. He paid me five centavos. Here's 25 more. If you see this man again, you'll let me know. Si, sí, senor. Gracias. What does the letter say, Diego? Don Diego, if you want to see your father again, you will pay a king's ransom of 100,000 pesos before sunrise. What does he mean, a king's ransom? I think I know. And if I'm right, I also know who kidnapped my father. My father read me this letter when I was a boy. He's known the king for over 30 years? Yes. He was living in Spain when it happened. The king was returning to the palace one evening when he walked right into a coup attempt by a group of renegade Spanish soldiers, masterminded by Capitan Miguel Villanueva. Get him! Get him! My father was passing by the palace at the time and went to the king's defense. The king is doomed! Long live King Villanueva! Yeah. 
Are you all right, my king? Yes. But not for long! Face horribly disfigured, Via Nueva was sentenced to life in prison. The leather masked man who kidnapped my father is surely Miguel Via Nueva. He must have escaped from prison and smuggled himself to California inside the statue. And now he intends to get revenge on my father for helping to put him behind bars. According to the ransom note, Via Nueva wants me to come alone with the money to his hideout in the mountains. Bernardo and I can follow you with... Violating Villanueva's demands will only further endanger my father. It's a small price to pay if I can get my father back. Let me out of here! Huh? It's better than I got in the prison of Madrid. Miguel Villanueva? Oh, and I thought you'd forgotten me, Don Alejandro. Well, I couldn't forget you, or what you did to me. You did it to yourself, Villanueva. What do you want of me? I have demanded that your son bring me 100,000 pesos. That's a great deal of money, but I suppose it's the price of freedom. <laughs> freedom! <laughs> I'm afraid you're sadly mistaken, Don Alejandro. You won't be freed until you've spent 30 years in a prison cell just like you caused me to do. And while you're rotting in the darkness, I shall be living the life of a rich nobleman just like Don Alejandro de la Vega. <laughs> we'll take all the candy you have, senor. Where did you get so much money, Manuel? A crazy hombre with a leather bag on his head gave me money to deliver a note to Don Diego, who gave me even more money. I wasn't supposed to read the note, but I did. What did it say? The man with the leather head wants Don Diego to pay a hundred thousand pesos to get Don Alejandro back. <gasps> no. See. Si. A hundred thousand pesos. Come with me, young man. I, I didn't do anything. Honest, I don't want to go to jail. My Capitan, how many times have I told you to knock before you enter? Oh, yeah, but, uh, Capitan, uh, this boy has something to tell you. Go on, uh, just like you told the storekeeper. A, a, a man in a leather mask kidnapped Don Alejandro. He asked Don Diego to bring him 100,000 pesos. A hundred thousand pesos? If you tell a soul about this, I'll throw you in jail. Is that clear? Si, si, senor. I'll have to take the money as evidence of the crime. Then uh, I'll take the candy. Hmm, what an opportunity. If I handle this cleverly, I can gain the favor of Don Alejandro de la Vega and increase my fortune by 100,000 pesos. You, give us your money, or we'll feed you to the coyotes and take it anyway. Your money, amigo, pronto. Go on, take it. <laughs> Looks like we found the Bank of Spain. Vamanos, hombres! Arrest those bandits! Uh, see, my Capitan! After them! Fortunate my men and I were patrolling the area, eh, Don Diego? Those bandits got away with a hundred thousand pesos of my father's money. My, my, Diego. Such an amount of money to be carrying. 
Hopefully my men will get it back for you. But even if they don't, it's not too great a sum to pay for our having saved your life, is it? I suppose not. Thank you, Capitan Montesero. You know, I've heard a rumor that Don Alejandro has been kidnapped. Is this true? I'm afraid it is. And you didn't come to me for help? I was instructed not to. Otherwise, I certainly would have. Yes, of course you would. Ah, now that you've lost your ransom money, I guess you'll need my help. I could borrow 100,000 pesos from the treasury and take it to the kidnapper for you. I'm sorry, Capitan, but the kidnapper insisted I come alone. But, Don Diego, everyone knows you're, uh, uh, the intellectual type. You're not uh, accustomed to handling such a criminal. Even if you're right, Capitan, my father will be harmed if anyone other than myself delivers the ransom money. Unless you disguised one of your men as me. Yes! That is a wonderful idea. But he must be very convincing. Have him wear my jacket. And here is the map to the kidnapper's hideout, where the money is to be taken. Yes, good. Now, go on home. Gracias. I'm counting on your skill, Capitan. You can count on me, Don Diego. I'll take care of everything. Everything indeed. But how do you know the men who robbed you were Montesero's men? Because poor bandits don't wear polished military boots. Oh, that greedy rascal! Taking advantage of you at a time like this. This is awful. Actually, it's just the break I needed. Break? How? With one of Montesero's men pretending to be Diego, Zorro is free to ride again. Miguel Villanueva was blinded by candlelight. What does that mean? It means... That after 30 years in a dark prison cell, our kidnapper has grown sensitive to light. Yes, Bernardo, you're right. Such a device is just what I need. The kidnapper's hideout should be just ahead. See, my cat. Ah, uh, no sense risking 100,000 pesos. Go on, we'll be right behind you. Don Alejandro as well. Capture them! You 
Shoot her now, Capitan! Uh, capture them! You too, you imbecile! Zoro, here! Ah, I finally got you, Zoro! Uh, and I've got both of you! Drop your sword. Don't shoot! Relax, Capitan. With his eyes, he probably couldn't hit you from two paces. So we'll see about that! No! Stop! You're going to rot in prison with Don Alejandro, Zorro. Now step away from the door. Whatever you say. <laughs> Don Alejandro, this way. You're trapped, Zoro. I suggest you surrender. And I suggest you take some more fencing lessons, Capitan. Don Alejandro! Oh, thank goodness you're all right. Father, I'm so glad Capitan Montesero was able to rescue you. Montesero? Well, that clumsy fool, I'd still be in there if it hadn't have been for Zoro. Perhaps, if I were more like Zoro, I could have helped as well. Don't let it bother you, son. I couldn't love you any more if you were Zoro himself. This has been a very profitable evening, senor. Thanks to you, Don Alejandro owes me a very big favor. The governor will be giving me a commendation, and I am a hundred thousand pesos richer. I don't think so, Montesero. You're not the only one who can steal a king's ransom. Curse you, Zorro!